so hi how are you uh, yeah i'm fine thank you sir for asking first of all very good evening very good evening to you humming space so that is an interesting name so first of all i want to know the secret behind this name so what is this name no, all actually, about actually my name is saraswati and humming space is my youtube channel name oh so you are there on youtube that's amazing yeah. all right so what kind of content do you post on youtube nowadays i upload conversational videos mm -hmm. and That's earlier nice. i was posting like uh, short videos related to grammar portion okay so you are a youtuber you are very small youtuber all right and how long have you been on this journey uh, as a youtuber i have uh, uh, started my channel 2 years ago mm -hmm. okay. yeah All right. my my channel yes my channel name is as you mentioned my channel name is humming space and earlier i was posting only short videos related to grammar portion and after couple of months i realized that uh, only to upload grammar portion is not enough if i want to learn and to speak this language so i started talking with four learners mm -hmm. all and, right uh, Yeah, go ahead. I'm yeah. listening to you. Please go ahead. Yes, and uh, after that, I also realized uh, I uh, did conversation for five or six months. Later, I realized that there is no one to correct me. Mm -hmm. So, if I join some platform, so it will be better option, and, and immediately I get feedback, so I can improve in a better way. Okay. Conversation. Portion. portion okay portion you got portion correctly worship worship so s h t i o n and s i o n words these are pronounced as sh and yeah. not s right mm -hmm. similarly yeah. t i o n portion the last part of uh, portion is t i o n this is also pronounced as sh and not sun shun. as you said right sh yeah all right humming space so i'll call you humming space since i see this on the uh, on the screen so let me just briefly introduce myself uh, my name is kishore gurbani and uh, i have been training people like you to improve their communication skills for close to 7 years now right yeah so i believe we are meeting for the first time on um, this platform right so i yes, hope yes. Uh, you will be able to learn something uh at the end of uh, your session with me today right yeah, surely yeah surely surely yeah all right now humming space or saraswati i remembered your name or saraswati so tell me what got you interested in uh, youtube in why did you think of youtube as uh, uh, an alternative career or as a hobby or whatever you may want to call it what got you interested in uh, having your own channel on youtube uh, mostly for me i started my channel means there was when i started my channel that time means i was not thinking to work on youtube channel i just want to upload one speech of my daughter that she delivered on 15th august mm -hmm. and uh, after couple of months i thought that let me try and uh, upload grammar portion because earlier i was working Uh, so nowadays i am a hot like uh, in co uh, during pandemic i quit my job so i am at home so i thought that uh, i should work and post some grammar portion so i can recollect all the grammar portions again so it will be helpful for my daughter also as i teach her and she is in 6th grade so this is the only reason i started but now my means uh, motto is uh, means uh, totally different like uh, as uh, i started to take sessions from english yari so i got more confidence to speak with strangers so if yeah. i learn well i and if means i get the proficiency in this language so i can help others to learn and to improve this language because yeah. i faced uh, means uh, a plethora of difficulties 
I face a plethora of difficulties. Plethora of difficulties, yeah. So you face a plethora of difficulties with what? With the language or with something else? Language, mostly. So for you language. should have specified that I face a plethora of difficulties with the language. Yeah. If you don't complete your sentence, plethora means a lot of things. So this yeah. would this would also indicate other things apart from English. Other things also because I did not introduce myself. Actually, I hail from Uttar Pradesh, but currently I reside in Mumbai, and I have uh, means uh, my education is I have graduated in Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Education. After which I pursued web designing and worked for 15 years on one particular software which is photoshop during mm -hmm. pandemic i quit my job so okay. as i moved from uttar pradesh to mumbai and the same year i got admission in uh, b.a college mm -hmm. so not only i struggled with english language but uh, but other things i also learned from you can say from scratch Okay, yeah. so not only English. This is not structuring your sentence correctly. But also, but also, but also, but I not only struggled with English. Not, not I only struggled with English. So the positioning of your words. Okay. This is what I'm pointing out. You have to position your words correctly, so mm -hmm. that you can form a sentence properly, so that people can understand what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. All right, great. So, Saraswati, today's topic is all about being very shy uh, or not being very confident. Shyness, mm -hmm. basically, right? Uh, so, yes, but I did not go to the, through the topic, but I can speak. Okay. As for my knowledge, I can speak. So, tell me, um, what kind of person would you describe yourself as? Would you call yourself a shy person or would you call yourself a very confident person? Since childhood, I was very shy type of person or you can say I was very introvert type of person. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, I am not shy person because I am here and YouTube also. So I connect every day with many people. So that... Uh, I connect I with many people every day. Connect I connect with, every day with many people. I connect, I connect with every day. No, I connect with many people every day. I connect with many people every day. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are not really a very shy person, right? Yeah. You are an extrovert. Yeah. So if you are an introvert, you are shy. If you are an extrovert, you are outgoing and lively. And what if you have the qualities of both an introvert and an extrovert? Do you know what you call this? Somebody who has both the qualities. Somebody who is shy and at the same time has qualities of an extrovert is lively, for example. You know the word for this in English? Yeah. This is known as ambivert. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Right? So yes. if you're an ambivert, then you have both the qualities. You are shy. You don't like to talk much. But at the same time, you like to go out and uh, you like to enjoy and meet people. So this is known as an ambivert, right? Now, tell me, why do you think are people shy in their life? Why? What makes people feel very shy in their lives? Mostly if uh, we are not confident on any topic or anything. And sometimes people have the nature of size. Mm -hmm. Like since childhood, they do not interact. Uh, with uh, many people are uh, they sometimes did not uh, uh, means uh, they do not get the uh, atmosphere to mingle so these are the things uh, uh, in from my perspective people become shy these are the things from my perspective which makes people shy you omitted which from this or because of which people become shy Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So, do you think you can change your nature or anybody can change their nature? Do you think you can be shy when you are a youngster and then you suddenly become more outgoing when you grow up? Yes, anyone can change and at any time. 
it's uh, it totally up to you it is and totally i was up. also very shy type of person we were very introvert type but mm -hmm. as i started to work on youtube channel so i miss, uh, took the plunge to uh, speak with uh, many people mm -hmm. and i faced that fear that hesitation and after facing and uh, means uh, take the challenge so we can overcome from this after facing and taking the challenge not after facing and take the challenge taking after the challenge. facing and taking the challenge we can overcome this fear of being shy right yes yeah. yes yeah, yeah all right now living in mumbai do you think you can be a shy person in a very busy and hectic city like mumbai mumbai is a city which has a lot of life and color in it yes. so is it possible to be a shy person in a city like mumbai no if a person is very shy in nature so that person can can't survive in mumbai if you want to live a better life in mumbai so you will have to overcome from your shyness and you will have to overcome your shyness not from your shyness, your shyness. and uh, be a uh, extrovert type of person mm -hmm. so that you can interact with people and can I means learn many things and can you can adjust in this community or in this city all right very good yeah. now what have you learned from your life and experiences in mumbai uh, sorry sir will you please repeat your sentence what have you learned from your life and experience being a Mumbaiker, being a part of Mumbai? Uh, being what has a Mumbai part taught of... you? In other words, what has Mumbai taught you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, being a Mumbaiker, I learned from the scratch. When I came first time to Mumbai, I when was... When I first with... came to Mumbai, not when I came first time to Mumbai. When I first came to Mumbai. This is what you need but to When say. I first came to Mumbai, yeah. So I was very shy type of person. I was not aware of anything. Mm -hmm. But here I learned how to mix with people, how to travel, and how to depend on ourselves for anything. Mm -hmm. So I learned, you know, each and everything from Mumbai. How to depend on ourselves, how to be independent. Right? How to be independent? Yeah, how to be independent? Use the word independent. It's going to add more meaning to your sentence. Your sentence will mm -hmm. become more meaningful, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, very good. Now, tell me, uh, can you teach people to change their nature? Do you think it's possible that you can teach people skills which will help them from uh, becoming? from being an introvert into being an extrovert. Do you think this is possible? Yes, can it is possible. How do this you think? Introvert to extrovert people. Yes. Do you think it how is possible to convert that? people from extroverts into introverts? Mm -hmm. I mean, your question is how a person becomes introvert to extrovert, is it? Yes. Can we teach a person who is an introvert to become an extrovert? Mm -hmm. Miss, how can I can teach? Yes, how yes, I can teach anyone. If yes, if I have to teach to someone who is a introvert type of person, so my first suggestion would be try to explore yourself in every field where you want to be. Like suppose if you have interest in uh, mingle with people, are going means as in Mumbai, mostly people means. Uh, uh, both uh, men and women go for working. So mm -hmm. if you means learn how to go and mingle with people, different types of people, so you can learn. And means I can teach them. If you, if suppose if I teach the benefits of extrovert person, mm -hmm. so that person can understand and start to mingle in society or start communicating and giving your opinion on any topic. Giving their opinion on it. Yeah, giving their opinion on it. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Saraswati, I believe you are a very good example of somebody who has converted herself from being an introvert into being an extrovert. I remember at the beginning of the conversation, you told me you were very shy 
initially, right? Before you came to Mumbai. Yes. And uh, after being uh, a YouTuber, you have your own channel now. You interact with so many people. I think your personality has opened up, basically, right? You become yeah. more confident. And I think YouTube has been the biggest boost for you to convert, to change yourself from being an introvert into an extrovert, basically, yeah. right? Because you have so many people interacting with you, people sending messages to you. And I think this has instilled a lot of confidence in you, basically, yeah. right? Yes. All right. Very good. Now we will have an activity. You and I will play a game, right? So since you belong to Mumbai, I will give you uh, simple words which are related to Mumbai, right? Simple words related to Mumbai. And I want you to use those words in sentences of your own. Okay. No. Yeah. No. Right? Yeah. yeah. Can we begin now? Yes. Yes. Sure. Your first word is Bollywood. Bollywood. Yeah. Bollywood is part of Mumbai. We all know that Mumbai is known for Bollywood, for the film industry. So how would you use Bollywood in a sentence of your own? In Mumbai, uh, we can see Bollywood stars when we go mostly like in Juhu Chopati or these areas. So these are areas are very famous for Bollywood stars. All right. Very good. Your next word is Chopati. 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 Um, in Mumbai, as uh, we have no more so means choices for uh, you know uh, our uh, weekends are uh, go outside. So mostly we used to go Chopati. There our we weekends are food. go outside. One minute. Our weekends are go outside. During the weekends. We go outside during, and we go yeah. places like Chopati. You can see this. Yeah, right? during the weekend, we uh, prefer to go Chopati. We prefer to go to places like Chopati. Mm -hmm. Go to places, places like, Chopati. like Chopati. Yeah. Yeah, there we can enjoy food and uh, everything we can enjoy with our children. All right. Very good. Yeah. Your next word is local trains, the lifeline of Mumbai. Uh, yeah, Mumbai is famous for local train. Uh, you can say this is the lifeline of uh, Mumbai. Without local train, we can't imagine our life. From since morning to night, we all depend on local train only. All By right. traveling. Yeah. Okay, very good. Your next word is um, um, Amita Bachchan. Amita Bachchan. Uh, Amitabh, Amitabh Bachchan bungalow is in Juhu, where uh, means it is there. Uh, it is uh, it is very close to my BA college. Where I was in BA college, so we only every day go on that route. Used to go on that route. We used to go on that route. Okay, Amitabh Bachchan's not Amitabh Bachchan. Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah. Apostrophe yeah. S. This would indicate yeah. that um, he owns the place, basically, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. So the last word uh, for today would be the fast food, which is famous in fast Mumbai. Food. Yeah. Which is the yeah. most famous fast food in Mumbai? Um, most famous fast food in Mumbai is uh, Vada Pao. And, Vada Pao. Uh, so, Vada Pao is your word. How would you use Vada Pao in a sentence? Vada Pao, uh, you can say like, uh, very means uh, we can live our life on We can Vada live Pao. our life, not live. We can live our life on Vada Pao. Mostly, it means working class people depend on that. So, we can live our life by eating Vada Pao. We can live our life by, by eating, eating Vada Pao. By not, eating we can live Pao. our life by Vada Pao. This is not a complete sentence, yeah. right? Yeah. What is the meaning of the sentence? We can live our life by Vada Pao. This no. is a very confusing. It's wrong sentence. Yes. Right? We can live, we can our, live life our life by eating Vada Pao. By eating Vada Pao. Vada Pao. Yeah. All right. So, are you good at cooking Vada Pao? Uh, Vada Pao? Yes, I am good at cooking. 
and you can consider i'm a good cook also all right so uh, if i came to mumbai or a friend of yours came to mumbai any relative of yours came to mumbai mm -hmm. uh, what are some places you would recommend that friend or relative to visit in mumbai there are many places we can uh, means i can suggest to my relatives or friends uh, first i can suggest uh, juhu chopati and uh, temples very temples are famous like siddhi vinayak temple mahalakshmi temple mumma devi temple and for uh, other like here is the um, what we say gateway of india is there i can suggest them and elephanta caves there are lots of places we can uh, i can suggest yeah girgaon chopati is there all right hari so, rama uh, hari krishna mandir is there so lots of choices and these are very famous in mumbai and only these are the choices we can go all right so i believe there are lots of interesting places in mumbai to visit for anybody basically mm -hmm. right so you can always enjoy yourself if you come to visit mumbai so Whenever I come to Mumbai, I'll keep in mind all of these things, and I will make yes, sure. Yes, no, you are also always welcome to Mumbai. Yeah, all right. So this is what I have heard a lot about uh, people living in Mumbai. They are very welcoming people, basically. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So quickly, yesterday was the weekend. So what did you do yesterday, Saraswati? How do you spend weekends in Mumbai? Uh, mostly in Mumbai nowadays, as my daughter is sixth grade. so i sub no as her exam is going on so i do not prefer for you know go outside like for more i do not prefer <laughs> to go outside not to go outside only go outside. we can go like this time i only go for sometimes to watch movies or some malls mm -hmm. or um, some relatives also only these things i do nowadays so you go out to visit relatives or you go out to watch movies so yeah okay. all right okay so how do you travel around in mumbai do you use a local trains or do you travel with your own car or how do you travel around if you want to move around mumbai how would you move around uh, i travel like uh, by local train as well as by ola also okay. ola and uber and right yeah yeah all right saraswati now i'll make uh, recommendations for you and i'll point out a few mistakes so that you can correct yourself for the future yes sure right so yeah. the first area that you need to work on um, is using your prepositions correctly right yes in yes. on at from all of these prepositions so yes sometimes you make mistakes while using your prepositions right yes Yeah. This is one area that you need to concentrate on. The other area that you need to concentrate on is uh, I've noticed you miss words, you omit words while speaking, right? Which so one? You, you omit words. Mm -hmm. Some of your sentences are incomplete. You do not form mm -hmm. complete sentences, right? Yes. Yes. Some yes. of your sentences lack words, so you have to mm -hmm. practice on sentence formation. and uh, sentence structuring so that your sentences contain all the necessary words yeah right this is yes, one yes. other area that you need to work on right yeah yes and yes. finally i think you are a very good speaker uh, sometimes you make mistakes in pronunciation also i believe we were trying to pronounce something initially right yes so, yes i am so. very aware of these mistakes but at the flow i did mistake and after that i do mistake so I after do that mistakes. i yeah i do mistake after that i realize that oh my god i uh, say the wrong sentence i said the wrong sentence right yes, i said so, the wrong sentence so yeah these are all minor issues these are not very big issues but you are if you are trying to learn the language then you need to try and improve on these areas yeah. right yes, so yes. for today's session these are the recommendations that i would like you Yeah. I'm sure that the more you practice the language, the more easier it will become for you, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So there's a saying: practice makes perfect. So it's all about speaking as much as possible, practicing as much as possible, and the more you practice English, the better you become at it, right? Yeah. 
Great, Saraswati. Any questions that you'd like to ask? I know all suggestions and all corrections feedback you have given, and definitely I will follow. And still, I am following all these suggestions and advices advice given by tutors. So I started like reading books and newspapers so that means uh, mostly I read story books mm -hmm. and my daughter's books also I read. Along with that, I also start to work on my uh, prepositions too. Mm -hmm. But okay. at the time of speaking in flow, I do mistake. All right. So the, you are doing all the right things. You are reading books. You are doing lots of exercises. I'll just give you a simple exercise to do every day. Yeah. Take a very simple topic, Saraswati, mm -hmm. yeah. and speak 10 to 12 sentences aloud on that topic alone with yourself. Mm -hmm. For example, one topic would be my city. You live in Mumbai, right? Mm -hmm. So you could yeah. talk about Mumbai. Another topic could be my family and talk about mm -hmm. your family. I have a daughter who's in the sixth grade. My husband goes to work every day at 10 a.m. He's a banker, whatever it is, right? You can mm -hmm. talk about your family. You can talk about YouTube. You are a YouTuber, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. what I'm asking you to do is choose a very simple topic every day, which is related to your life in one way mm -hmm. or the other. And I want you to speak 10 to 12 sentences aloud on that topic. Yeah. So you need to have a self conversation on simple topics every day. This is going to help you build up your confidence. It will help you improve your sentence formation, your pronunciation, and all of the challenges that you face with the language, right? You may yeah. not have anybody to correct you when you make a mistake, but it's going to instill the confidence in you. It's going to make yeah. you a better speaker, right? Yes, yes. So this is something I would recommend you to do. No, thank right? you for all your suggestions and advice. I definitely I follow you all, yeah. Oh, Great. I hope you enjoyed your session and I hope you yeah, learned sure. something yeah. of today's session. Yeah, I enjoyed right. a lot. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for Thank connecting. You. Have a great week ahead and all the best to you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank